I mean, I've, I've had really connected moments with every single woman. Jed and I even have had some moments that are spectacular. Uh, the only person I really just never had that, that, that deeper level connection with was Heather. And I, and I get it. I mean, you know, you were, you saw it. I get that she perceives me as a threat and wants to keep me at an arm's length because uh, I'm being honest. But um, really all of them in, in so many ways have really, have really shown up for me. And I'm, I'm internally grateful for that. Where do you guys stand today? Is there a pathway to a true, genuine friendship with Heather? I hope so. I mean, I really do. I, I've, I've meant it when I said it from, from word go. I look up to her. She's somebody, as somebody who's watched the show, I always thought that she was phenomenal. Like, you know, I, I, I had no clue that we'd be bumping heads. Like, that was not, nothing that I wanted. I, I was very happy to just be like in her presence to that level. But I think that's a double-edged sword as well because I look so up to her that when I found out that she was putting on a facade and that what that when I went deeper, it was like, oh shit, you know, like never meet your heroes kind of thing. So yeah, I don't know. It's, I, I'm hopeful. I think that the change and growth everyone's capable of, that's what we're here on this planet to do. And I, I, I will never say never. I, I, I've forgiven far worse from far worse. <laughs> so um, I, yeah, I, if, if, if she's game that I'm game, it's just, it, it's hard because there's so much has happened. And honestly, I, I do feel like the injured party in it. A lot was made about your gift to Max. What can you say about the pride themed card game? Hello, how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. You too. Thank you so much. I literally went on to Amazon and put in LGBTQ plus gifts for teenagers. And like, if it's bisexual and friendly, even better. And so I just bought like the first five things and put it in a nice little rainbow bag with rainbow tissue paper and a cute little Swarovski rainbow thingy. Like, obviously the thought was there. Obviously I meant no malice. Obviously it was nothing me giving it, whatever. It was a sealed pack of cards and all it said is the description. I'd never actually heard of Cards Against the Humanity thing. I've, I've Maybe it's because I lived abroad. I don't know. I, I missed that. I missed that day um, where, where apparently it's like a pop culture phenomenon. I love it now. I've since played it and I'm like, this is amazing. Um, I, if I knew what was in it, I would not have given it as a gift to anybody, really. I think you, it's, I don't know. It's just, I don't think it's a gift to give. I, like maybe a stocking stuffer for some of my more, you know, advanced gay friends. But um, but the card pack actually said on it, like, all you need to know about LGBTQ+, bi, bi gay, trans, life, fabulosity, and uh, parts of the proceeds go to LGBTQ+, centers, like, for youth, uh, uh, youth around uh, the country. I certainly didn't think that me going out of my way as a bi woman to give a bi girl, like, who celebrates her sexuality in a very beautiful way, as, as do I, I didn't think that that could ever be twisted into something that's pretty disgusting and pretty gross and pretty dark and leave it to Heather to find a way to take this magnificent moment of like just celebration and turn it into something that just makes my skin crawl. And when you told her that you weren't aware of the contents of the cards, do you feel like she believed you? She knew it. I mean, because let's be real, if, if somebody is giving something sexually suggestive to my daughter, I would be calling them straight out the gate. You know, it wouldn't take me like 10 days and telling everybody else behind my back or their back, you know, like if, if that really was a concern as a mother, I think that says more about her as a parent that you're not going to be like, excuse me, excuse me over here. Like, what are you doing? And you see her face when she's talking to Gina in her closet, she's laughing. A pride themed card game, which is very nice. Mm -hmm. You know, they're both bisexual and mm -hmm. that's great. But so Max is 17 and I'm just gonna read you some of the cards, okay? Licking that right, getting your right, having your Like she gets that this is shtick. She gets that she's like hamming it up. She's making this big deal out of something. She just couldn't wait to just 
use it against me. And she knew my intention. And it just, the, the, the shameful part of all of this is that I really like Max. And I really would love to feel comfortable to like reach out to her and to, you know, to have that. But I, I mean, thank you, Heather, that, that, that ship has sailed. So, I mean, there's, there's not a lot of us in Orange County. We got to stick together. <laughs>